with meteorologist Christina Reese. Good morning, Northeast Kansas. Thanks for waking up with us here on KSNT News. It's already off to a warm start this Friday morning. Temperatures still a mix of 70s and 80s out there. It's 80 degrees on the dot for Lawrence, a couple degrees warmer than that in the Little Apple, though, but slightly cooler for areas to the south. You're waking up to 76 in Council Grove right now. However, as soon as you take a step out that door this morning, you will feel that stuffiness to the air already, and that's due to dew points in the six. 60s and low 70s, and even at this hour, not only does it make, make it slightly uncomfortable out there, it drives up our heat index values by a few degrees. You'll notice most spots feeling like it's already in the 80s to start off your Friday morning. The one plus side is we have a bit more of a wind as well out of the south at about 10 to 20 miles per hour, and that wind will pick up more throughout the course of the day today, especially by this afternoon. We're looking at a 15 to 25 mile per hour wind. That wind will try to lighten up throughout the course of the night tonight before it picks right back up for tomorrow. More of a 10 to 20 mile per hour wind, but you may have noticed the direction did not change. It stays out of the south. So although this wind will provide a little bit of relief in terms of mixing the air up, it's still going to pump in that warm and humid air, which means we still do not catch a break from this heat. High temperatures for today, once again, expecting the 90s and triple digit heat. Some of our northwestern areas like Manhattan could come close to 105 once again, as they could see their dew points fall back a little bit. So with drier air, that's typically easier for things to heat up. It just may not feel quite as humid for some of our northwestern spots today. Otherwise, tonight into the start of tomorrow morning, very similar to this morning, waking up in the 70s and 80s, and then the temperature soar once again, more 90s and triple digit heat for Saturday afternoon. But that's before you factor in some of that humidity that will be in place. Both today and tomorrow, we're still looking at heat index values between 100 and 110. That's why that excessive heat warning, as well as the heat advisory, will still be in effect through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock. A quick check of satellite and radar shows it is a quiet start up in the sky, though. We're fairly clear across the region, aside from a few high thin clouds that have been trying to work their way in from the west. And aside from just that, a few thin clouds throughout the day, sunshine will dominate. We may see a few more clouds roll in during the night tonight, but still fairly clear to start off your Saturday. Saturday afternoon, still mostly sunny, but we'll be keeping a close eye on the evening and overnight hours as our next cold front pushes through. As we get into the evening, this is 530. It could start to trigger a few isolated showers and storms before more widespread scattered showers and storms look to push through during the overnight hours. Now, the timing of this could still be tweaked. It's a little bit iffy as to the exact timing this front will push through, but it could still trigger possibly some strong to severe storms. That's why some of our northern and northwestern areas are under the slight risk for severe weather Saturday evening. As of right now, the main threats out of any stronger storms looks to be the possibility of damaging wind gusts and maybe some hail. But otherwise, for today, we are quiet, just hot, stronger winds, but still looking at 90s and triple digit heat across northeast Kansas once again. A look at your KSNT storm track seven day forecast shows those rain chances for Saturday should wrap up pretty early on Sunday, but that gives us a little bit of a break from this heat. We are looking at 80s for high temperatures on Sunday with lower humidity, but as we get closer to the 4th of July, we build that heat and humidity right back up as we get back into the 90s. 